Hey guys, it's Dave for Gamers on Games. Uh, this is going to be a very quick pickup video. This is actually in response to Devil's Brush Gaming and their uh, video regarding trolls. So he's having some unfortunateness with a bunch of trolls, and I had a different point of view than him. Um, oh, maybe not different, but whatever. My my point of view of it is this, because I'm going to cut right to the meat of it, is um, when it comes to trolls. I know that everyone's first instinct is do not feed the trolls and generally not a bad bit of advice but when you run a YouTube channel um, it's not necessarily the worst thing and the reason I say that is this for me having trolls especially when I really started gaining them in force actually kind of became like a, a sign that you made it it also means that you're hitting topics and what I mean by hitting topics is you may be shedding light on something that the troll community has decided is not great. Things like equality, when I do stuff on Anita Sarkeesian and when I've talked about equality issues and I've talked about, you know, inclusion and stuff like that, um, these are topics that mean something to me that I support and I've gotten a lot of pushback from a troll community and that's fine, let them. Because here's the thing, if they are going to come in and they're going to do all their trolling and everything else, they are going to run your hit counter, which is great because even if they downvote it, the metrics still work in your favor. And I know that's weird. It sounds really counterintuitive, but the way the algorithm works, at least as of this posting, is negative downvotes actually help get you seen. Because if you're getting a lot of them, it actually works almost as if you were getting a lot of thumbs up. It's a weird traffic thing I've been finding. Um, and I'm not really sure what the, what the logic is behind it, because generally downvotes are considered a bad thing. But I think it's a case of the same way that um, Rotten Tomatoes had to work their thing when uh, trolls come through and downvote everything. I think it's the same sort of concept. There's some sort of a, like a reverse algorithm that like, oh, okay, well, you're on the other side of the bell curve, so we're going to prop it up. I have no idea. Um, but I know that um, I have heard from people uh, previously that with videos of mine that are almost exclusively downvotes, they're still finding them and they're still finding them pretty well. So my guess is, is that there's, that's how the algorithm is working at this point. Um, the other thing is, is this. Trolls move in groups, has been my finding. Which means if you get one... Let me, let me try again. They move in groups, but they send out a scout. <laughs> There's that one guy who's going to find you, and he's going to be like, hey, guys, everybody come in. We got, we got a target. And then they'll pile on. And you know what? Fine. Let them. Feed the trolls. Let them do their thing. And where I, where I put a cutoff is when they start attacking um, other posters. And I've had a lot of that. So it's a case of like, oh, they're attacking. And I'm like, all right, if you've got one to comment here or there where they're attacking, I'll probably take the comment down. If it becomes mass spam where they're just going after everybody because, because, um, yeah, that's where I'm going to start putting a muzzle on it and I'll, I'll mute them or uh, report them to YouTube or whoever I got to report them to. Um, in one case, I had to report a user to the FBI because uh, he made terroristic threats and uh, it wasn't against me it was actually against another user and I was like eh, I'm not I'm not gonna let that slide because um, they were really specific so um, I'm not sure what was going on there but I wasn't gonna let that one slide and have that one on my conscience um, also because it was the right thing to do but uh, yeah so a lot of trolls keyboard cowboys let them do their thing it's actually helping you know, it'll get you your views, it'll actually push your revenue, it'll push your AdSense. Um, but you know what, as long as the topic that you are discussing is being discussed genuinely, and you are doing your thing, you should be alright. So, um, I just wanted to throw this out there. I hope everyone has a good Easter, good Passover, everyone has a good weekend. If you're non-denominational, if you're atheist, if you're agnostic, if you're whatever. Um, I'm not really sure what other holidays are going on this weekend. I really probably should be more sensitive to that and be more aware. But, uh, yeah. So, hey, um, Devil, uh, Devil's Brush Gaming, letting you know we got your back. Um, 
you know, don't let the trolls get you down. If you do find that it is starting to take a mental toll on you with dealing with trolls, um, yeah, shut it down. Or even just turn your comment section off. Um, if you have people that really want to get in touch with you, have a Facebook page, you know, um, have a Facebook group, something else that they can reach you through. Um, you know, you put a link to that in your comment section, and if it's a group, um, what you can do is very easily, you can put a, um, a thing on there that they have to be approved, you approve them, as soon as they start acting up, kick them out, you're done. So, okay, I guess that'll kind of call it for this. I hope that the, you guys find this useful, if not, let me know, and um, I'm sorry about how shaky the camera is, um, I'm doing this on my, on my phone, so. Alright guys, catch you later, bye.